Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Lacey Douglas. And I'm Rasana Drosian. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. Let's get this morning off with some morning announcements. Attention all juniors, there is a junior parent meeting tonight starting at 6.30 p.m. in the main gym. We will be discussing senior events, senior payments, sober grad night, and senior pictures. In addition, there will be representatives from UC and CSU systems along with the military. Please make sure to attend. Attention sophomores who signed up to take AP U.S. History next year but failed to attend one of the mandatory meetings. You're in luck. You have one more chance to make up the meeting this Thursday, April 25th. Doors lock at 12.45 p.m. in room HN6. If you do not attend this last meeting, you will not be registered for the class next year. If you have requested AP English your senior year, you must take the writing assessment to get into this course. The assessment will be held on Wednesday, May 1st at 3.15 p.m. in Miss Rose's room HE4. If you took Honors English 11, you might be exempt from this assessment, but you still must come on May 1st to check in and receive your summer work. Juniors, if you're signed up for AP government next year, you must attend the informational meeting today during first lunch in room HN7. For students interested in taking AP Econ next year, there will be one last makeup meeting this Thursday after school at 1235 in room HN1. Seniors, the list of perfect attendance for the school year is now ready and is posted on display outside of student services. Make sure to check the list to see if your name is on it. If you feel that you should be on the list, please ask Mrs. Elliott. Remember, you must have at least five months of perfect attendance to qualify for the $20,000 grand prize to purchase a car from the Elk Grove Auto Mall this year. There will be a Lua hosted by our very own Poly Club on May 8th at the Big Green from 6 to 7 p.m. You can buy tickets at the student store during lunch or from any Poly Club member. The cost is just $5 for regular admission or $7 for entrance and dinner. There will be guest hula performers from other schools, so make sure you check out this remarkable showcase. Becoming a COHS ambassador, be sure to turn in your application to Principal McDougall by May 3rd. As the school year comes to an end, yearbooks are selling daily. So far, there have been 675 yearbooks sold, which means there are only 225 yearbooks left. A price for a yearbook is only $95, but it will increase to $100 beginning May 10th. Yearbooks will be distributed on May 16th. If you miss, don't miss out on the chance to get a yearbook filled with many memories. Now let's take it on over to Derek and Andrew for a sports update. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Andrew Tardiyama. And I'm Derek Sarai. Here's your sports update. On Friday, the baseball team took on the River City Raiders in an away game. The team came home with a win 8-3 against the Raiders. Also yesterday, they played against Vista Del Lago in an away game, but lost 3-8. They will be playing Vista again tomorrow at home. Wish the women's soccer teams luck as they head out today to face off against the Liberty Ranch Hawks in an away game. The Wolfpack is currently in third place in the league. The tennis team will play River City today in their last stool meet of the season. A win against the Raiders will put the Wolfpack in a three-way tie for first place in the SVC. Come on out to support the team as they go for their first league title. Also on Thursday, the tennis team will be at the league tournament with singles, followed by doubles on Friday. The top two from each category will advance to sessions. On Wednesday, the golf team will face will tee off against the Monterey Trails at, against Monterey Trails at Emerald Lakes, followed with a match against Galt at Dry Creek on Thursday. Today, the men's volleyball team will head out to West Campus for an away game. On Thursday, the softball teams will head out to Union Mine to play the Diamondbacks. The team is currently in second place and still has a chance to catch the Diamondbacks for a league title. Saturday was the most successful day of CO Track this season. At Bear Creek High School, the guys were third overall. Alex Van Dyke and Aaron Ross were first and second in the men's 400 meters and second and third in the men's 200. Jerron Moore, Elijah Whitmore, Alex Van Dyke, and Aaron Ross were first in the men's 4x100 while setting a new school record. Dustin Kim finished seventh overall in the triple jump with 40 feet 3 inches, and Ryan Lewis extended his high school career record against again by nearly four feet with a shot throw of 46 feet four inches finishing third overall. The girls were champions of the meet at Bear Creek. Atsumi McGee continued to dominate winning the Open 100 and 200. She was part of the 4x1 and 4x4 champion teams with Amore Howard, 
Fee Elusula, Lexi Becker, and Mache Venerable. Fee also picked up a first place in the 300 hurdles and a third in the 100 hurdles. Mache also won the long jump and teamed with Tachi Gomez. Tachi was first and Mache finished second in the triple jump. Ioni Griffin finished fifth in the discus. On the JV side, Kendall Herod picked up the first place in the 400 meters race. Well, that's it. Well, that's it for you for your Tuesday sports update. Until then, I'm Andrew Kagiyama. And for the last time, I'm Derek Sarai. Keep, Keep pushing, pushing the pace, pace Wolfpack. Pack. Students, Friday is the last day to donate your clothes for the homeless to your first period class. Ms. Mr. Sellas and Ms. VC's classes are tied for the, for, and for the lead for the donut party. And you can still pledge to help others at lunch and donate for Boston. Do what you can this month, Wolfpack. For more information, please check out our website at helpinghandsmonth.webs.com. Junior Achievement is still selling the 28-ounce acrylic glass cups with an orange rubber grip and matching orange straw. Final sales are this week, so look for us in the cafeteria at lunch if you'd like one. Let's take a closer look at these cute and handy cups. Uh, I'm Santiago Morales. I am the president of Thirsty, a Junior Achievement company. Junior Achievement is a nonprofit organization. It's known nationally um, all across the United States. It serves students kindergarten through 12th grade, and there's different programs at each grade level. The one that we bring in here to um, Consumnus Oaks is called the Company Program, and the Company Program allows students to learn all about entrepreneurship. The purpose of reselling these cups is to basically bring in a profit because Junior Achievement we're our own company and we're selling these uh, cups to make a profit and to be able to give back the Junior Achievement for letting us do this. It's basically um, creating a company all the way from selling stock to fund the company, choosing a product. They're rubber insulated 28 ounce cups with a rubber grip, orange straw, and they say Wolfpack on it and blue lettering with a paw underneath it. Um, producing that product, they learn how to sell, they learn some salesmanship. Um, each student is paid a, a prearranged salary that the kids agree on, um, plus a commission. Well, that's it for today's announcements. I'm Rosanna Drosian. And I'm Lacey Douglas. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. Have a great day, wolf pack. Food, fun, friends. I can't think of a better way to spend my day, so don't delay and join D-Malay. Valley D-Malay, a club for dudes. Call or find us on Facebook. I got my license. After hard work and training. Make sure you get help from the company that ensures you to be ready for the road. Because, because we're, we're all, all good. good. All, all good, good drivers. drivers.